Today we're going to be playing some games with the Magnazone Duskwing deck that got second at the Melbourne Special Event. Um, it's a cute list with the uh, Rabambi tech in it. Um, everything else there is pretty standard, pretty straightforward. Main attacker is Duskwing. Pretty much only attacker is Duskwing. You got to stack attacker, I guess, if you want to use him. Um, basically, if you get ahead, it still gives you uh, a GX attack to use to actually close out the game for one less energy than four, which is like kind of cute. Or like an attacker to close out the game if you prize a Duskman and two of them get knocked out. You got the Assembly GX to close out the game. Also, it's actually really useful, the uh, the Ultra Roll to protect your uh, Ultra Necrozma at some points throughout the game, depending on what you're playing against, depending on how much damage they're doing. Uh, the deck's pretty cool. Uh, it's a little cute for my taste. Uh, but let's go ahead and play some games with it and see how it goes. All right, we're getting into the first game here. Whoa, stack attack to start with not much else going on. This hand is terrible. We can actually look to Ultra Ball away Guzma Retrieval and then Ultra Ball away Rabambi plus the top deck um, to uh, get a Magnemite. At least we're going first. A Magnemite and a, what's the, a Duskmane. Oh, no, a Lele for a thing. Um, so that definitely is what we're going to do here. Um, bam, bam. Those go by. Get one of these. We got the double cutie fly. Rise double dusk main. Oh, shoot. This one could be rough. We'll see how this goes. That is definitely not what we want to see. Uh, goodbye, Rabambi. Goodbye, energy retrieval. Let's get that. What was I saying? No, we need Lele for Lily. A lot of Lily in this. Oh, Steven. No, Resolve is too... Is Resolve too slow? Okay, Candy Magnazone. No, I feel like Resolve is a little too slow here. Uh, let me think about it. Let me think about it. We're about to go back in. We have to get a supporter either way. We could get Candy Magnazone, supporter. That's kind of slow, though. Um, I wouldn't even mind not getting out the Magnazone next turn. That wouldn't even be that big of a deal for me. Um, I think I think the Lily's the better way to go. We need cards. We need some cards. Uh, that's not a ton of good cards, though. Uh, this is quite a bit of good stuff, though, actually. We got some, we got some good stuff cooking here. Um, we get the... Get the... Dusk meme. Um, I think we're going to be swinging with attack, stack attack at first. We're going to try and draw two prizes. Ideally, two shotting this uh, Ultra Necrozma with the uh, stack attack. Uh, and then we'll go into the Dusk main, hopefully, getting another Dusk main <clears throat> to close out the game from there. We're looking to go GX knockout, GX knockout, GX knockout. One thing really nice is if we do get the first GX knockout, or just knockout in general, in this matchup specifically, you can't just return KOR active with uh dawn wings gx attack so that's kind of cool um specifically for this matchup we got the i mean I, I guess if he puts a choice band on it well no yes no he could choice no he could choice band knock out this but he can't choice band knock out this okay so he could choice choice band knock out this but he needs to get the extra piece so that's like that's cool i guess um so he goes for the orangaroo and then treasure away a card um so if he goes for the orangaroo like this i'm assuming he's not going to get a lele with his treasure um and he's trying to like high roll this instruct draw or that's like a lily this whole time Oh, he's trying to high roll the instruct draw. So a little greedy there from him. Or that's actually just pretty greedy there from him. Um, <clears throat> not a fan of that. Um, that's, that's 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 just pretty greedy. Um, so he's getting a little greedy there. Shrine! Okay, I did not expect that in an Ultra Necrozma deck. Huh, interesting. Well, yeah, definitely did not expect a Shrine to come down. And we already discarded one of our mounts. Uh, there's no Field Blower in this deck. Uh, I don't think... Uh, I'm pretty sure we're just on Mount Cornets for stadium removal. Uh, so this one might be... This one's going to be interesting. I, I'm interested to see how this one goes. Um, this does allow us to like kind of actually one-shot, two-shot, two-shot, one-shot this with the Gigaton top. We'll take one, two, one, two. Uh, I guess not really. <clears throat> um, but it means... Uh, eh, it doesn't change that much at all. It means you can maybe one-shot something with a Magnazone, actually. All right, well, the damage is coming in from the Shrine. That's interesting. He's playing a one-shot deck, but then playing the Shrine. Eh, I'm not a big fan of that. All right, there's the Choice Band. So we could hit for 150, um, 160, 170 to him, 180 back to me. So he'd live with 10 HP, and I could just pass, let it die. Or if I want to go like a Guzma attack. Um, so I think I will put the Choice Band here to give that to me as an option. And then I'm going to go with the Cynthia. Um, not going to use the ability before because I kind of want to draw two energy after. If I get the Candy Magnezone, I whip the Candy Magnezone. We did get the Beast energy, so if we had gotten Candy Magnezone, we actually would have just KO'd this Ultra Necrozma. Grr. So close, so close, so close. All right. We're not going to waste the Beast energy yet. Well, it's not really a waste ever. We're not going to use the Beast energy yet. Um, I'm, I think I want to bump his Shrine. I kind of don't want that in play. <clears throat> but I want to get... <clears throat> Excuse me value out of my mount cornet so i don't know if i want to put that in play just for him to bump it back without even me getting a use out of it 
Um, so I'm actually kind of torn right now on what I want to do. Yeah, I'm kind of just torn on what I want to do. I kind of want to put it in play. I kind of don't want to put it in play, but I kind of want to put it in play. But I, I'm like stuck on this one, man. That's a, what else has he got in there? Not much, just a little. Uh, I'm trying to like think if it's like two energy does. Mm, man, I'm really stuck on this one. We're going to go ahead and bounce it, uh, bump it right now, and, and uh, hope for the best on that play. Um, I'm hoping that works out fine. We'll see. We'll see what he's got. Um, all right, attach. He could hit us. I protect myself with Ultra Wall, right? Yeah, okay. So he could hit us for 90. Um, potentially knock us out if he gets... Well, he plays this. Well, he plays Switch, though, right? Well, we don't know how many Switch he plays. So, I mean, he could pull out something like a... Okay. I mean, that's just rude. That's just uncalled for. Uh, maybe I should have benched my second Magnemite. Actually, I chose not to bench it last turn. Um... <clears throat> I definitely could have benched it. I left the spot, the bench base open because I was like, well, I might want to Lele on my next hand. Um, and we can tell with this hand, I definitely... Lele, I was never going to Lele. But, you know, I didn't know that with the hand I drew. Now we got the Magna Zone in hand. Hopefully we just top deck Magnemite. That's... Oh, the rare candy, the card late. So close. Um, so if we Lele... Uh, we could do this. We're really close to it. Uh, I'm sure we have a lot of outs left in the deck. Let's see. One nest. There's three... Or five outs left to find it. We're drawing two cards. Let's go for it. I'm gonna take nothing here so I can attach the beast energy. And I also should have just taken like one energy off the Rabambi. Um Yeah, so that way I could like draw an extra card. Oh still no good. Um so now we're gonna thin out the decks for the hopes to top deck and out to the Magnemite. Get these two energy out of the deck. Um and we're gonna hit him with the uh do we have any basic energy here? We do not. We're gonna hit him with the Gigaton Stomp. It's a big Gigaton Stomp. Uh, for 180, thanks to his Shrine damage, for some reason he's playing Shrine, uh, we're able to get the knockout. That's actually pretty sweet. All right, there we go. Nest Ball for Magnemite. That's what I like to see. Uh, it's not too hard for him to get the return knockout here. I'm hoping he whiffs. We kind of need, like, a turn. We need, like, a turn off from him doing anything. Uh, he could also hit us with the Dawnwings GX, which would be pretty annoying. Um, I'm just kind of have to see what he has. Oh, there's Deoxys. I'm not as scared of that as I am of other some of his other options. He's maybe playing like a basic attacker deck that just has alternate across one because maybe he plays some metal attackers. I don't know what he's got going on. He's got some some weird stuff going on here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna delve too deep into this uh, these shenanigans this guy's got going on here. This treasure might give us more info, but more than likely than not, yeah, it's going for a Malamar. Um, yeah. We will uh, we'll see what else he's got in store for us. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm ready and interested in the, the surprises remaining. Solid. Solid, solid, solid. Pass, instruct, switch. What do you got, man? I was actually interested why he, um, Guzma. Okay. So he's looking to punch me, uh, for, for, for zero damage. Cause I have no energy attached. So he's looking to use psychic for zero. All right. I'm ready. <clears throat> oh, you know what it is? Probably. He probably plays the alternate Crossma just to use sky scorching light. Actually. That's probably why he plays the alternate Crossma. just to use the, uh, the sky that's actually kind of cute i actually don't hate that just to use the uh, sky scorching light yeah i do not uh do not hate that more metals in hand thin out the deck we can maybe like ride this hand till the till about the end of the game um attach active and then we'll hit him with the pass hoping he hoping he does not have a guzma to take out this magnemite and we're able to get rolling uh get these metal energy rolling out of the hand next turn that's what we're hoping for here uh there we go there's an attachment we're gonna get Power blasting. I actually might even retreat this this uh dusk main to the um stack attacker and look to get more value. Alright, the damage spread is starting to come in hard and heavy now. Um uh, I might just go to the stack attacker and look to use stack attacker to keep drawing prizes um while I can. Um because uh attacking consistently with the dusk main is gonna cost me a lot of energy. And I could just use like I said. They just use a stack attack instead. And it uh, doesn't cost me another rare candy. Yay, just what I wanted. It uh, doesn't cost me quite as much to keep attacking with stack attacker. 
Um, Rabambi again, thin out the deck, make I make my top decks a little bit better. A little bit higher higher chance of drawing a better top deck. Um Got plenty of energy now. Um, I don't think I need to attach anymore. Treat. And once again, Gigaton Stomp. Um, so we only have three prizes left, but our opponent is not playing... Will most likely not be playing down any more GX Pokemon. So that does leave us in a little bit of a predicament to try and shut this one out. Looking to hopefully just close it out in three turns. Um, but if he's able to KO this pretty efficiently, I could start run into a situation where I start to actually run out of energy to even be able to attack with the Necrozma GX. Um, so if he is able to deal with our stack attacker, and um, we might be in a little bit of trouble. He has a couple ways he could do that. Well, there's another Ultra Necrozma. That's what I actually like to see because uh, it helps me close out this game a lot faster. So two of my last two prizes are actually Duskmanes, if uh, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm pretty sure two of my last three prizes are actually Duskmanes. So that's going to hurt a little bit. Another Deoxys. This man, uh, big fan of the Deoxys, I guess. It's actually pretty good. 120 for three energy. You discard an energy, but then if it doesn't get knocked out, you can just attach another energy and attack again. So, uh, not too bad. So, he still has jet. So, he's definitely playing, like, a spread deck, and then he looks to eventually go Sky Scorching Light to do 60 to everything. That seems to be what's going on here. Uh, for this turn in particular for him, he's actually just going to knock me out with the uh, Ultra Necross, which is a little rude, but uh, we'll deal with it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, cute deck though. Definitely a very cute deck that he's got going on here. Now, I'm actually thinking about getting another Magnemite just to make sure my Magnus doesn't get knocked out. But I don't think that's actually going to be a problem. Actually, I don't even know if he's going to knock us out. Is he? Uh, he's doing 130, 140 with this. Uh, so we're going to 130 because of the uh, <clears throat> the Ultra Wall. Yeah, I don't think he's. I don't think he noticed that. All right, but he is in a position where he can move our damage around a lot. With the, I assume he plays the the baby Lele that does that. Um, just gonna Rabambi with the Honey Gather. Nothing great. Leave it at that, and I think we're just gonna swing. I could put some energy on this, but it's possible both these get knocked out, right? Yeah, it's possible he can actually knock out both of these um, by using Tapu Lele. The uh, one, the psychic energy colorless, the attack moves all my, the damage around on my board. Um, maybe I want to put this in play. I want to put this in play right here. He could actually KO my Magnezone and the stack attacka, which would remove everything from play. So I probably actually have to load up the Dusk Main as a uh, deterrent from that, because he could move two up here. Uh, be left with 180 two up there 180 there'll be two there'll be four more 220 oh man and then he can knock out both these removing all my energy from play so i actually have to put some energy here on the uh so i have to force him to knock out both these actually uh so it's gonna be a little costly with all this energy but i can lay lay for fisherman um as a response to that and then hopefully take the game from there that will he'll be down to one prize can he actually just win next turn i actually think he might be able to uh, is there anything I can do about it? It doesn't look like it. I could judge him. Um, but he actually... Uh, so I want to judge him. I guess his only real play is that Lele play. Um, but he looks like he'll probably be able to get it no matter what. And actually, I think he might be able to win the game off it. Um, so I actually should probably go to try and draw my last stadium to stop that shrine damage. Um, I guess I could have taken the energy. Well, I didn't hit it, so we have to now just hope... He doesn't get, um, can I get the, yeah, Gigaton stop. Oh, with the hope he doesn't get the, the Psychic Lele, because I actually think I lose the Psychic Lele four more, and then I will take four more back. Oh, uh, there's the Dusk Mains. They weren't super important this game, just because of how the matchup kind of played out and what deck he's actually playing. Um, but I actually think I lose. I think he's going to have this one. He can move, uh, take this nine and put s uh, seven of it here. Uh, two of it here. Oh, that wouldn't quite do it. Uh, well, I'll take four back. Let's see. One more, five, four here, five here. Okay, so he can't quite win. Um, so actually, we maybe do have this one because um, we still can go. Well, that's psychic energy attachment there. No, that doesn't mean he doesn't have it for sure. He can still double psychic recharge. Um, it all comes down to what he chooses to knock out. He should choose to knock out the stack attacker and the Necrozma GX. And as long as my Fisherman is not my last prize, I'll be able to Lele for it 
and close out the game. Or if he whiffs here, uh, we'll simply be able to knock him out with uh, Dusk. Dusk main, uh, Dusk main, yeah, and he passes, which means we have it. He was definitely looking for the Psychic Lele. Uh, I thought he could win, but he actually, there wasn't quite enough damage to play, so he would have looked to knock out both of these. Um, which, on his side of the board, is really his only play, hoping that I don't have enough energy recovery to attack. We know we do, and uh, he does whiff the Psychic Lele, which means we are able to just knock this uh, Deoxys out a little bit overkill, but uh, gotta get rid of it somehow to win the game. And uh, that'll be first game with the deck. Went pretty smooth actually uh considering uh, we had no idea what we were playing against i don't mind it ending up that way definitely would have played a little, probably a little bit differently had i known what i was playing against but i didn't quite know what i was getting into until i was already in it um so yeah that was the first game all right now let's get into another game here we're going second um this should be fine wow all right it might not be fine this hand is really bad um Looking at least top deck a nest ball can ultra ball for a Lele it's Lily, but a nest ball for like a Magnemite or Dusk main would be nice at the very least. We could attach the metal active. So we're playing against Decidueye, which means actually the choice pins are gonna be pretty good potentially to one shot the Decidueyes. Uh depends. Potentially very good though. Potentially. We also have to be kind of careful in this matchup because he can actually like start start. Oh, that's a very good start. Start sniping our Magnus zone. Oh, he no, he make it for you. Oh, that's still pretty good. Four basics turn one. Uh, he can start like uh sniping our Magnus zone and then eventually bring it up like Guzma it up, knock it out with Zorak. So we do have to kind of be careful in this matchup about just like actually losing our Magnus zone. Um, so we're probably gonna want to set up uh multiple. <laughs> Excuse me. Multiple Magna Zones. We're going to get rid of those two. Get the Magnemite. We'll attach active and then play Cynthia. Cynthia top deck was nice. Lily would have been a little bit better, but I'm not going to complain. At least we top deck to support her. Wow. All right. Uh, nothing going on here. Uh, we're back into top deck mode. I love it. Let's do it. I'm down. As long as we top deck. We're not gonna we're not in the as long as we top deck we're not gonna be in a horrible position um but it's not it's actually look not looking great right now uh we're definitely gonna need a little help on this one what do you get rid of there guzma i think right yeah played apricorn played cynthia ultra ball the way of guzma got rid of a zarua interesting but you're probably trying to set up a third rally in this uh um game anyways no trade and must be pretty good then i mean if he's got like dce cynthia or something makes sense not to trade all right here we go top tech cynthia said we need a little help got a little help need a little help got a little help wow this hand sucks all right um second magnemite is good to have Get the Yashkmer uh, on the crossbow. Put him down. And then we can do this. Boop. Um, I kind of want to attach one, but I kind of want to hold them both also. In case they top deck something good. So we're just going to pass. Let the Lele get knocked out. I'm actually fine with the Lele getting knocked out here. It's not the, not the end of the world. Let the Lele get knocked out. All right, Lily for four. That's also fine. Yeah, let the let the Layla get knocked out. It was really good. To, nice to get another Magnemite. Um, otherwise, we might have run into a situation where we could go Guzma KO Magnemite, and then we'd be really stuck. Um, if we didn't get another Magnemite, we would have definitely attached to the Necrozma. Um, but getting second Magnemite, I think I'm just gonna hold these because I have, if I potentially top deck something really good, then I can Ultra Ball away both metals, and then go from there. Mm hmm. Dun, 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 dun. This is actually getting kind of scary that we're setting up both owls to be able to attack. And they get big too. And I'm already down a choice band. I think the list only runs one uh, choice band. Um, oh, we might be in some trouble here. We just need a red candy. If we get a red candy, we're good to go. Guess we also. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. My top deck's good. Top deck is very good. Uh, we're good to go. Don't want to be ultra ball. And it's it's possible I could have like, you know, mounted it back, but you know, it's not a guarantee, so. Um 
going to take this guarantee. And we'll go for a Lily here. Or a Judge. Actually, it's a big hand. No, we just want to guarantee us attacking this turn, I think. I think we just, we just guarantee our attack. We're good. Good to go. And we whiffed the attack. Oh, that's so bad. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to actually grab Stack Attack here to prevent it from knocking out our active. Um, we will mount Cornet for two energy, but it's not enough for us to attack. Wow. With an energy. All we need was an energy there. Guess we should have gone with the Judge. Um... I don't got much else to say besides wow. Um, <laughs> he's got to be close to getting Decidueyes out. He can't one-shot us. No, he can't one-shot us. I'll just hold the energy for now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we're stuck stuck this turn. He can't one-shot us. That's why I took stack attack because otherwise he could go like candy Decidueyes. He could be just sitting on candies or Decidueyes here and looking to trade into the other half of each of them. Which uh, it would make sense why he didn't do anything last turn. But if he goes Candy to Joy, Candy to Joy, Choice Band, he actually knocks us out. Um, so I don't want to fall into getting knocked out by that. So that's why I got the Stack Attacker. Uh, put the Stack Attacker in play. Okay, here comes Mallow. I'm expecting Candy to Joy, Candy to Joy. Yikes. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Trade. Ultra Ball. Max Potion's gone, but that shouldn't matter. Yeah, there's Candy Decidueye. So there is two, two fighting fields. <clears throat> and then we should see, yep, Candy Decidueye. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes indeed. We'll see where he starts targeting, though. I guess he could actually... No, he mallowed, so he can't Guzma knock on my Magnet Zone, thankfully. We got, we got that going for us, I guess. What can he do? Well, he can sit, put me to 140 damage. That's not great. But if he has Choice Band, he can put me to 160. Wait, did I miscount this whole time? 130, 170. No, he can put me to 170. Um, yeah, one, he can put me to 170 damage. I was thinking like another 30. If he attached Choice Band, I was thinking like another 30 off it. 110. Wait. How did he do 110 damage? Oh, Stack Attack. Oh, Stack Attack only reduces by 10. For some reason, my head Stack Attack was reducing damage by 20. That's just not correct. Okay. Um, I'm not going to judge him yet. Still not out of it yet, um, but it's not looking great. Oh, it's Cynthia. All we need is an energy. Still. Okay, we got the energy. I really did not want to see a Cutie Fly. Uh, but I guess Cutie Fly would deter him from knocking us out with... Um, I guess I'm gonna. I'm not gonna use my GX attack right now. Should I bench the cutie fly? That kind of becomes the question, right? I don't want to GX right now, so we're not gonna GX. We're just gonna discard. I bench the cutie fly. He can't double snipe or active, but he could like snipe. No, I think I'm gonna bench. I think I yeah. I'm gonna bench cutie fly. I'm gonna bench cutie fly, and then we're going to uh, meteor tempest for knockout. Two, three. And uh, get two of these bad boys. Cynthia, good. I was hoping for something like some better form of draw support. I ideally wanted to get another Dusk main on my bench. Um, that's what I was ideally looking to do, but uh, we, didn't, we didn't get that option. There's it, Artrix. Once again, getting scary. That's a lot of a lot of uh, damage coming in from the owls there. Um, so he's going to KO us. I'm trying to think about how we can play this. If he goes snipe snipe with owls, then we can like send up cutie fly for the turn. And then he has to KO the cutie fly. But then I have to send us something I have to retreat anyways. Ugh. It's actually just looking it's just not looking good either way. We'll see what he does. He could go. Oh, he could have some kind of Guzma play. Okay, so this is Cynthia for sure. That's good to know. I wonder why he evolved to Dartrix, and I would have looked for the candy to Sidua if I was him, to be honest. Um that'll probably grab another Zorua. Yep, there's Zorua. Um yeah, I'm just curious to see what he does. He might... So he can go with knock out my active through double Decidueye Snipe. Um, then I think I have to send up the Cutie Fly. Then he KOs Cutie Fly with Riotous Beating. Um, yeah, here it comes. Or I could send up the Magnemite. 
And then he killed Magnemite with Riotus Beating. Then I have to find the evolution for this as well as... Um... Chaos this with Rise Beating. Then he had. Then I have to find the evolution plus a. What's it called next turn? I don't hate that. I guess, but then I lose to Guzma. But this, then I have to somehow retreat this. But I would need to get evolution plus thing anyways. But what I want to let take a hit is the question. I guess at that point, I gotta try and get a lot of energy and bring up the Magnum. Maybe I should have never benched Cutie Fly to begin with. Now nah, we're setting up Magnemite here. I guess uh, this might come down to us hoping he doesn't have. Uh, depending on our top deck, we could actually go for a Judge play. Uh, how many Ultra Ball have I played? Three? Yikes. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to evolve this cutie fly. <laughs> I think I'm actually I'm going to lose because I benched this cutie fly. I should have just never benched the cutie. Well, I really need to just get a Duskmane. Uh, that way I could send this up and then leave Duskmane on the bench. Um, all right. Well, now we need to find the evolution. The evolution. So we can't just get double slime from Feather Arrow. No, that's not it. And we need to try to bench this. I guess it's the same thing if he has Guzma DC. You know, but he could triple Feather Arrow kill that. We don't want that. Um, yeah, it's gonna be Cynthia. We need to get a Dusk Main, an energy card, and an evolution. Got the Dusk Main, got an energy card, did not find the evolution. Rabombi's in the deck with the Ultra Ball. I didn't actually have great odds of finding it. Um, I think that means we have lost this one. Um, <clears throat> unless he misses the play of knocking out our cutie fly with two decidui uh feather arrows um we'll see though i'll give him the opportunity to misplay i don't think it's gonna happen um <laughs> but we'll give him the opportunity uh so we got started up kind of slow this game uh, so that's really what held us back this game if we just had if the cutie fly had just been able to be a dusk main i think we would have been fine but i didn't find the nest ball i could have just like not benched i guess i should just not bench the cutie fly um, and then we could have just sent up a Lele here and then tried to find mul a little extra energy to hard retreat it. Then we would have been in this position, uh, except the Cutie Fly wouldn't be on the bench. Um, so I should have benched the Cutie Fly there. I guess I could have judged. The well, I wouldn't need to judge into the Rabambi. That would have been very good either. Uh, so that's going to be that game. Uh, Goose started up a little slow, which can happen with this deck sometimes. And uh, we're going to take the loss there. But let's get into another one. All right, getting into another game here. Going first. Um... Okay, start. We got the Dusk Main and Nest Ball for Magnemite. So, solid. All I gotta say about that. Solid. Solid start. All right, there's the Magnemite. So, now we're gonna go ahead and get the boy, uh, Cutie Fly, playing against a Vika Vault deck. Um, so, this one's pretty close. It's back and forth. Uh, big GX Pokemon one shotting each other back and forth kind of, kind of matchup. Um, I don't think anyone's really favored. Um, Close, uh, it's close. Depends, depends how well, well each player draws. That's really, that's really all it comes down to. Depends how each player draws. <clears throat> and then from there, yeah, <laughs> that's that's basically it. Uh, both just try to start one shot each other. Ideally, if you're the first person to lose, if your opponent's the first person to draw prizes, um, you want to be, you want to let them knock out a non GX and then try and win through knocking out GXs. Um, but it depends so right here even if i draw the first prize i'm currently knocking out a grubbin um so it's not ridiculously good for me and then he'll get the first gx knockout and then i'm gonna have to try and deal with that from there so that's like the big thing the first gx knockout is kind of the big deal um all right that's a pretty good draw though so we can get candy magnazone uh rabambi i think would be the next best thing to get we'll see what our top deck is Another Magnemite. Always good to put that in play. Yeah, so we're just going to Steven Resolve. I'm even going to hold the energy, actually. For Magnezone, for a Candy, uh, Rabambi. I think Rabambi's the way to go here. Um, I don't think he's really going to be able to knock us out. Uh, KOing this with what's it called does not feel great. KOing this with Meteor Tempest does not feel great. We might even just hit it for 60 with Claw Slash. Because like I said, the, the first GX knockout is really the actual big deal here. Um, anything else doesn't matter too much like it's not a big deal uh that's like the biggest deal just taking the first gx knockout um so if i get the first knockout if it's not on the gx and he gets the first gx knockout he's actually ahead um so we'll see these matchups are usually over pretty quickly once the knockouts start rolling as well um it looks like he has candy um nope he's got the lily so ultra ball i like that play though ultra ball 
get out the hand, get what you know you'll need, and play the Lily. Um, and he doesn't even need to get Candy V Gold this turn, like I said. It's all about the first GX knockout. There's another one. Another Rayquaza. So like a Guzma top deck would actually be really sick here for me. I could uh, top deck Guzma. That'd actually be sick. Not uh, confident I will, but... Stack attack. Hmm. You could potentially get the knockout with stack attack instead of Duskmane, which would be preferred. So I don't think I'm going to pull the energy yet off Honey Gather because I want to see how many energy I actually fully draw. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and Cynthia first. Candy Zone is also cool. Nest Ball. Grab second Cutie Fly. I'm down. Um, and now I think we just get aggressive then and we're just going to go ahead and knock out with uh, Sun Eclipse, or not Meteor Tempest, although it doesn't feel the greatest. I actually don't think we have much of a choice here. I might be wrong on this one, though. I think maybe maybe we could hang out for a bit. Not get so aggressive. Um, I could just hit him for 60. I actually don't hate that because of how I'm set up. Actually, let's just do that. Let's just, let's just Claw Slash. Let's not overcommit here. I really don't want to commit that much energy to KOing a, a Grubbin. Um, but this might be a mistake. Well, he didn't have candy, v Ball in his hand. I mean, I guess he could top that candy. We know he has v Ball. Uh, he, we know he, he, we know he's missing candy. We know that's what he's missing for this to, uh, currently. We know he's missing candy currently. Ultra Ball. Playing the Shining Lugia, Hoopa Counter. Really good Hoopa Counter, actually. You can KO, like, two or three Hoopas. Really consistently... And then you just follow up with Vika Vault. But I've actually found that Vika Vault is more than enough of an answer to Hoopa, actually. And if you just play uh, like an extra energy recycler instead, Vika Vault gets the job done um, just fine. All right, we'll see what he's got here. Uh, he gets the energy. He can also go like attach Guzma, but that wouldn't really get him very far. Uh, maybe I played this too slow. Maybe I should have KO'd this knowing it's possible he doesn't even get the return KO on us. Um, and he would have been off. Ooh, I was hoping for a Guzma top deck there, but can't get it all. Um, I can actually KO him with a Rabombi now, which I think I'm actually going to do. That puts an odd prizer in my active. We're going to go attach here, and we're going to retreat and KO with Rabombi. I think that's actually the ideal play. And we got a ton of energy recovery. We don't have a ton of attackers, though, so that's a little worrying. Um... But hopefully it doesn't end up hurting us too much. Get these back. And we're just going to hit him with the pollen shot. Ooh. Oh, we should gather honey too. Oh yeah, we can get all the energy out of our top. Out of, we can get all the energy out of our deck and make our top decks super clean. Uh, almost forgot to honey gather. Uh, so now we need just, I mean, if he gets the Guzma knockout on our Duskmane, then we're just going to need a response of uh, uh, an, an attacker that one shots a Rayquaza. Um, so we'll hit him with the pollen shot. Like the first, like I said, the first knockout's cool in these kind of matchups. The first Geox knockout is way more important, and it looks like that's what he might be able to go for. We got the nest ball though, so we'll be able to respond. Um, we should see like it's very possible. Oh, well, there's the Vika Vault now. So now it's getting scary, actually. Uh, and we can't even like Guzma K with Vika Vault. Now, if he goes strong charge, set up these, and then knock out our Dusk Mane, we maybe just lose. Uh, very close to that, actually, I think. Um, we might be okay. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not so confident anymore if he has Guzma, though. If he has Guzma here, uh, I think we're in trouble. Oh, there's the Guzma. So he's going to knock out our Duskman. Like I said, the first GX knockout is huge. And he got it. Um, so now we can try and force him on odd prizes. Or we could just knock out this. Um, just knock out the Rayquaza. Or we could hit him with this and then try and hit him with a Magnezone with a Choice Band. We just Pollen Shot for a... So we can get a Pollen Shot for 100. Uh, hope he doesn't have another Guzman to bring up Stack Attacka. And then next turn, knock it out with a uh, either a Pollen Shot for 100 again. If I get another Choice Band. We gotta send up this guy no matter what. Or knock it out with a Magnezone, which would be nice. Um, or, I, as I top deck a Duskmane, I can just... Uh, 
Oh, I should have debated if I was going to retreat first. Um, or I can just knock him out with the Dusk Mane. Uh, he would need two more energy in play, which he gets off Vika Vault. Knocks us out. And then he can go Guzma knockout. So I actually think Pollen Shot for the 100 and hope he doesn't have a Guzma is the way to go. Um, let me gather real fast. No honey together. And yeah, Pollen Shot, 100 damage. Um, and we're now, right now, we're just hoping he actually doesn't have a Guzma. If he's got a Guzma, I think we just lose or very close to just losing. Um, but if he goes on odd prizes here, is there is there even a chance we win if he goes on odd prizes here, actually? He'd KO this. We'd KO him with Magnazone. He'd KO the Magnazone. Oh, no, but there's the Guzma. And that this is how these, these big GX attacking decks work out. It's basically whoever has the Guzma on the... Or whoever KOs the GX attacker first. Now I'm in a heap of trouble. Uh, I maybe put myself in more trouble than I had to be. If I just attacked with Duskman, I might have been in a better spot. I don't really think so, though. Because um, if I attacked with Duskman, he would Vika Vault, charge two energy in play... Um, and then I would get knocked out anyways, and then he comes up and swings with another Rayquaza. I could one-shot him, but then maybe hope he's out of energy. Um, but yeah, he's got no energy in the discard process. That wasn't just wasn't gonna happen. Um, so this really show this really does show how these uh GX attacking getting the first GX knockout in these matchups is actually just huge. And this this uh this game showed it well. Um so even though I am gonna lose this, um you guys will soon have seen this game. I think this game really displays these kind of matchups well and that's kind of why Rayquaza is kind of the king of these decks because the decks are actually very similar like both our decks are very similar we use big gx pokemon to do one shots um his is a little bit better at so the reason Rayquaza is just better it's better at KOing stuff that is not gx's um because its damage is not reliant on it's like energy in play and not like constantly having to get energy back in play unlike uh dusk main um, where i constantly need to get energy back in play um, and then, uh, yeah, I just need to constantly get energy back in play um, to the point where um, I can lose through just kind of like whiffing energy. But like he really never whiffs energy because it's just he, he 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 keeps his energy in play. Um, so if he gets the first GX knockout, it's way easier for him to keep chasing GX knockouts. So that's why Rayquaza of Equal is kind of the king of these decks. Decks are very similar in how they work. Um, and when they match up against each other, it's all about who gets the first GX knockout. He was able to get it this game, so we are going to lose this game. Uh, but I think this, ma this, this match um, really does display how these matchups interact. Uh, we are both trying to... Well, I was personally trying to play around... Not Nate knocking out his Grubbin with something relevant. I was able to get the knockout with a Rabombi. He had the response of the Candy Vika Vault, Guzma knock out your Dusk main, and it, basically he just gets to take over and take the, the win from there. There's not much else I can do at that point. It's really hard to come up with, to throw something in the mix to try and come back at that point. I don't have anything else I can one-shot stuff besides GX Pokemon. So really it's just kind of a... A, it's downhill from uh, from there once he got the first GX knockout. I can't even like chase his Vika Vault really. I didn't have the option to, but like he can chase my Magnuson if I only get one in play, or I could chase the Vika Vault if he only gets one in play early. Um, but it's way hard. Like if he chases my Magnuson after I take a one shot, I just can't get energy in play. If I chase his Vika Vault after he gets energy in play, his energy stays in play. So another reason Magnuson is, or Vika Vault Rayquaza is kind of the king of these decks. Um, currently, I think Vika Bulu is also very close in these like one shot GX stage two power them up decks. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for the gameplay with Dusk Main Magnazone. Um, uh, the deck ran pretty smooth overall. We were able to get dealt like turn to Candy Magnazone most of the games, but even past that, uh, that's where the tr past that is where the trouble started to hit, and uh, we weren't able to win all of our games. But uh, the deck still did what it was supposed to do. Uh, decks can do what they're supposed to do and not and still not work in a meta and i think that's what magnazone dusk made magnazone currently is it can do what it's supposed to do pretty much every game uh but it's not that's not going to be enough to win games all the time so guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video uh give it a like if you enjoyed the content subscribe constructive criticism as always is welcome in the comment section down below uh links to my twitch twitter facebook all kind of all the kinds of stuff like that will be in the description below feel free to check that stuff out uh have a good day thanks for watching and peace